Today, we're connecting the model cycles and the Roland T8. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to Freebeat, where I post new music-related content every single day. So if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Today's patron shout-out goes to Joel Raid. Thank you so very much for the support. Let's get started. All right, so continuing my quest to uh, hook up the Roland Ira Compact units to uh, really as much of my uh, different gear as I can, uh, today we've got the Roland T8, which is, of course, the uh, drum and bass synth, and we're going to be trying to sync it up with the Electron model cycles here. Uh, so, uh, yeah, my, my goal at the end of uh, this video is basically uh, to play through a couple patterns on the cycles and have it all synced up with the T8 uh, and uh, maybe do some tempo automation between patterns in the uh, model cycles and see how that sounds on the T8. So uh, yeah, uh, right here I've just got power to the model cycles. There we go, that's all I've got plugged in right now. Uh, the T8 has an internal battery, so I don't really need power for it. Uh, I was just charging it off camera before I started filming. Let's go ahead and plug the output of the T8 into uh, the audio interface there. Oh, that's barely on camera. There we go. Um, so yeah, that just goes to the audio interface. Now what I'm going to do is take this uh, split quarter inch to stereo uh, eighth inch adapter here and go to the audio in on the T8, uh, the mix in, and then run this out of the left and right jacks on the model cycles. So that's audio from the model cycles into the T8. Let's power both of these on here and uh, make sure everything sounds good. Yep, we've got sound on the cycles. That's fun, I don't remember doing that. Uh, we clearly have uh, sound on the T8. Let's go to an empty pattern here. Just gonna clear the pattern because I couldn't find an empty one. There we go. Okay, so I want to sync these up. So to start off, I'm going to uh, program a simple drum pattern here on the uh, T8. There we go, four on the floor. Uh, snare on two and four. Oh, there we go. Take off the uh, delay and reverb. There we go, simple drum pattern, cool. Uh, now let's do something on the cycles. I'm gonna go to uh, the default tone track here and record something in so we uh, have some reference when we try to sync these two devices up. Turn on the uh, click there, okay. Go an octave down. Sure, fine, <laughs> just something. Okay, perfect. Turn off the click, and we've got two uh, patterns. Now, of course, both of the sequencers are at 120, so I could sync them like this. However, that is not very much fun. So, to sync them up, we are going to use MIDI. And uh, all I have here is an 8th inch cable, and that's because both of these devices use uh, eighth inch or 3.5 millimeter MIDI. So we can just go from the MIDI out slash through port of the model cycles into the MIDI in port on the back of the T8. And is it just gonna work? No, of course not. <laughs> um, are we even synced up? Let's try to change the tempo here. No, okay, so changing the tempo on the cycles uh, does not change the tempo on the, oh, there we go, on the uh, T8. Which means there's probably a setting we're missing. Uh, my guess is on the cycles, because it usually is when I try to sync things with the cycles. So I'm going to go uh, to the settings page here, go to the config menu, and scroll to MIDI. In channel, yeah, that's fine. Out channel, yeah. Ports, uh, maybe. Output to MIDI, okay. Standard polarity, which uh, I looked up beforehand. That is what we need for the T8. So that looks good uh, And then our out is functioning as an out and not a through that looks good What if we go to sync and look at these settings? Okay, click in is on that doesn't matter 
Click out is off. That might be the culprit. Let's toggle that on. Oh, the tempo on the display of the T8 disappeared, which uh, probably means we're now synced up. So let's hit play and find out. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, uh, that was actually fairly simple. Just to confirm, let's change the tempo. <laughs> nice. All right, back to 120. Okay, so I'm copying and pasting our pattern into, uh, we'll go, we'll go four different slots. How about that? So now what I want to do is actually change the uh, length of each pattern here on the cycles. So I'm going to uh, squeeze it down to four steps, okay? Just four steps. And actually uh, tell it to change after four steps as well. Now I don't think the T8 is gonna follow along with that. However, what the T8 will follow is the fact that I'm also going to change the tempo in each of those four different patterns. Um, and I'll make it quite drastic so we can actually tell the difference. So every four steps, the tempo will decrease uh, effectively. So on pattern one, we will go with a tempo of 120. On pattern two, I'm gonna change the length down again. I should have done this before I copied it. Uh, and pasted it, so they would have all already had this setting, but it's fine, it's whatever. Uh, the tempo of this pattern will be 100. Now we'll go to pattern three. I'm gonna change the length again to four, and we'll set the tempo to 80 on pattern three. Okay, and then on pattern four, uh, we'll go here, and we will set the length to four which I just remembered you can use the pads down there, and then we'll set the tempo of this one to 60. Now I'm gonna go and chain all four of our patterns together. Uh, I don't know if this is gonna work, I don't know how it's actually gonna sound, but every four steps, the cycles will switch to a new pattern, and each of those patterns are 20 steps slower than the last uh, until it resets at every four uh, through, because we only have four patterns. Let's see how this sounds. That is so cool. Remember, the T8 is just providing the drums. So if I turn down the volume here of the uh, cycles, which was just playing the melody, and hit play. <laughs> the music nerd in me loves that. Okay, yeah, I have to try and record something in. Here we go. <laughs> That's so hard to play something good. <laughs> Okay, it works. The potential is there. Uh, don't just walk into it and press random buttons uh, like I just did and try to make something uh, that's halfway understandable because it's not going to work. However, the potential is there and this setup definitely does work. So I do hope you found this video informative or at least entertaining. If you did, be sure to leave a like on it. If not, you can always leave a dislike. That's okay too. Doesn't hurt my feelings, just makes me try that much harder next time. Either way, be sure to hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Thank you so very much for being here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.